Yeah, welcome to the Along the Way podcast. This is basically my interview series where I just sit down with a lot of my closest partners. That's all entrepreneurs doing good things with their life, trying to be better role models, just leaders in the community. My first episode, I'm sitting down with C2, owner, All American Hustle Gear, 5258 Section Avenue, pull up. My homie Jug pulled up as he always do. CJ Banco behind the camera lens. I am Music Eternal. If you've been following me at all, you definitely done seen me in some All American Hustle Gear, AAHG. Shout out to homie C2. You already know how we stepping through. Along the Way Podcast, Episode 1. Along the way podcast. Here with my homie C2. Sam. Yeah, he done helped me. He done drained me in all of the live is the live is fits in my videos. Promise me. Uh the, the dedication video I shot in Cali. Yeah. How, how, how we end, I forgot how we, how we end up linked. Good. Good. Where you at, uh, boy? Where I go, where I go. I had the link up with you one. You gotta hit me through one. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I threw one pop, man. Go take him out too. Yeah, my homie one. I start shooting videos. Yeah. He seen the video I shot for one. He hit me up. He. I shot some videos he. for him. He. I, I dropped the hard drive though. I dropped the hard drive. So I had to reshoot a whole different video. <laughs> <laughs> but it was love though. Yeah. I like he brought me to he brought me to brush shop. I introduced myself to him. Me and him start linking. I start shopping with him, wearing his wearing his stuff in some of my videos. Everybody I linked with along that whole little way was solid. You locked in. This, this podcast is just to, you know what I'm saying, shed some light on what brother doing. Mm-hmm. That's what's up. He be overlooking what he be doing as far as not not feeling like he doing enough. I'm like, bro, everybody ain't got no storefront. You know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. So that's solid, you know what I mean? You got something that people striving for. Yeah. So I'm like, uh, so just to shed a little bit of light on what you've been going, got going on, like, how long you been designing clothes? Well, it ain't really start off, I started off just like printing t-shirts and all that little stuff, you know what I mean? So, that was like in 06, so. So you, so you've been selling, like, you've been selling All American Hustle Gear since 06? Nah, 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 we've been selling All American Hustle Gear since like 2016, some shit like that. Like, oh. This year for them, uh, All American Hustle Gear. You know, so that just came about the same way. I had my own little thing that I used to always rock. You know what I mean? We were doing little nights. <clears throat> People used to ask about the little shit about then I just started like bringing t-shirts to the club. This, that, this, that. And then they had a specific thing that they wanted. They wanted that hustle gear, like. So it just kind of yeah. developed it. You know so what you mean? mean? So you creating your own designs like that, Gorilla? Yeah, man. That's our silver back right here, man. You know what I mean? The late that's nights the in one. the trenches, man. You know what I mean? That's the one. That's supposed to be on everything. Yeah. That's so loud to me. Yeah. The late nights, man. The late nights, man. Them all-nighters, man. We call them. No matter if you at uh doing them, them doubles and nursing, you got to go to work. You know what I mean? You got to do whatever you got to do, man. It's that Gorilla Hustle. You got to... When it's Christmas yeah, time, true. you know what I mean? You got to make sure them baby straight, you know what I'm talking about? Yeah, like, yeah, yeah. hustle, man. True. You know what I'm saying? And this series here, man, we only do it in all black or silver, man, because it's, it's, it's a dedication to the hustlers, you mm-hmm. know what I mean? To the mom, the dad, the grandma, to look out, you know what I mean? It's a dedication. You still rolling? Yeah. All right, you still rolling. All right, so we back. Yeah, yeah, my bad, y'all. My bad. What uh, what struggles you face with like being a headaches you face with being like a business owner? Headaches. Uh, well, like uh, with a lot of people in business, in they business that they got going on, like well, a lot of people probably like me too. Is uh, is like. The one main struggle is you got is me doing everything by myself, kind of. You know what I mean? So like, when you look at marketing, when you look at designing, when you look at get doing all the things that I do personally, because I kind of do everything. Is you got to find time for everything. You got to carve out time for each and every. But I at the same time you got to multitask while you carving out time. You know what I'm saying? So Fact. some of the main things is just like. I, I wish I had some damn help. Like that, you know what I mean? So that'd be like I consider a struggle. Like once I 
get together. Like, it take a minute to build up what you're trying to do. And then it actually get people to buy into what you're trying to do. You know what I mean? Then once people believe in you, it, it's kind of, you still, then you gotta, but then you gotta find the person who you can trust to put around you. You know what I mean? So, you learn different shit from different little things, little ventures and shit that leads you to how you feel about it. Yeah. You know what I mean? So, sometimes they just, you know, you, do, you, do you feel like it's any pressure on you, like with being a black business owner, or it's just like do you feel like it's any pressure because you're black, or like it's harder for you? You know what I'm saying? Because um, that's the excuse black men make, but I'm like, is it a, a legitimate one? I want to say it's, it's, it's race to do with the hustle and all. I don't you know think so I mean? either when it comes you when it, when it comes to you becoming a boss, yeah, your race ain't got nothing I, to do with it either, nah, either. either. That's what you, you own. That's an excuse. Yeah. Like, yeah. That's like, obvious. Yeah, nah. I won't use that as an excuse to say oh, this one I'm succeeding or this one I'm failing or this one I'm nah, you look at strategies. You look at it cause you got black billionaires, you got you know what I mean, you got all that. Like, all right, we start some things we don't got. We don't own NFL teams but shit. We own the NFL. We quit, who gonna play? Yeah. You know what I'm saying? So you, that's an excuse, man. You know what I mean? No. It's different levels to being a boss. It's like I know I ain't like my my children don't have to say they from the slums, though. You know yeah. what I'm saying? Because I got control of, of certain shit like that. Like I I might not be in control of every aspect of life, but I got control of the next generation. Right. To right. an extent. My know? generation yeah. at least. You yeah. Know yeah. What you know what I'm saying? saying? That's that's what I'm like. That's what I feel like is wealth. If you ain't got no control, if you just out here. Yeah. Like, damn, but well, you don't know what type of environment you was growing up in. You just out here doing you. Yeah. Like, right. yeah, that ain't, that's, you so powerless. Yeah, you, you don't know what you're doing. Yeah. Because you don't know what you're putting out because they taking up everything that we put out. Yeah, you know what I mean? Like, like, yeah. So, I, mean, I feel you on that. You know what I'm saying? So, what type of people you, what type of people come shopping here? Like, what type of people, what type of people you make the clothes for? I make the clothes for... The, 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 the point of All American Hustle Gear is for the All American person, just that regular everyday person. It ain't for nobody, no individual, just for that person, no matter how you feel. You know what I mean? I make it for a hustler, a person who grinding to take care of their family, to get to their next level in life. To, you know what I mean? That's why I cater it to. So they ain't no, in particular, businessman or no this or that. It's to that person, this is how you feel, this this cater to you as a person. That's what, that's what I'm caring to. You know what I mean? Uh, yeah, I mean, you keep me flying my little video. <laughs> like, shit. Yeah, yeah, I'm sure. Put that for niggas on stage. Yeah. It's like, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> All right, so. What's your ultimate goal? Like, with, with the brand. I see you done relo relocated stores. You was on California. Yeah. Now you over here on section. Smoke, chill. Yeah. What's your ultimate goal with it, though? Uh, franchise. So, like what? You want to be in retail stores? Yeah, I want to be a, a, a retail store, period. You know what I mean? Like, what So you want to sell more than All American yeah. Hustle Gear? Because it's bigger than just All American Hustle Gear. Nice. You know what I mean? It's a hustle. So just being real. You know what I'm saying? Everybody ain't going to just want my brand in particular, but you might want something that's related to my brand. So you might want a pair of jeans that can match my shirt. Right. You might want to, you know what I mean? So you carry yourself you carry yourself to the stuff that's around you, you know what I'm saying? Like, And I feel like I got to get more geared towards the things that's going on around me, you know what I'm saying? Like, yeah, eventually we'll be able to reach the market and be able to do those type of things, but I want to be a retail store where you can come and shop. So you need permission from other brands to sell their product in your stuff? That ain't, that ain't hard, though. Facts. You know what I'm saying? I mean, you got the space in here too. Yeah. Like, I'm definitely like this. This definitely a, a, a upgrade as far as space and placements or everything. I, I rock, I rock with this stuff. Thank you, bro. Thank you. What you see yourself needing to do? Like, what sacrifices you got to make now to uh, to get to that point where you we are selling different different stuff in here like you want? Like, what sacrifices you need to make? I, well, right now, I think I'm, uh, like right now, our whole focus is like marketing, getting us out there, getting us to the people who ain't seen us yet, and understand our brand, our focus, what we try to do with our little, where we going with it, you know what I mean? Yeah, we put a lot back into the community and all that stuff, but we try to reach the people who don't know yet, like, we try to, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. So I think that'd be like the main goal, to be able to get to the next level, once people start understanding the brand, understanding who we are, we're put us in a better position uh, to, to to grow economically and all that, you know what I mean? Like, 
facts, facts. I don't know nothing about no damn retail or nothing. I, that, I, I tried well, to do it. it. I tried to do it with trying to get my vendor's license and going to a warehouse. They got down like, bro, this is a real job. This ain't some shit that you can just say, I'm about to be a clothing designer. And that's like, you I'm really doing. got to do some studying. Yeah. And that's what I'm like. I don't like, because I'm a hustler myself. I don't try to hustle. I, I don't try to do it all, bro. Yeah. That's yeah. what I'm like. Yeah, this ain't this ain't my lane. You have to be in this lane for you to succeed. But that's so, anything that you're doing though. Yeah. So you film. That's your thing. That's your lane. You rap. That's your lane. So you can see yourself succeeding in that lane and enjoying your life in that lane and being paid and doing this and doing that. You know what I'm saying? Because you de- you can develop that lane. You can angle your lane to wherever the focus you want to fit it at. And that's what it's kind of the same thing with clothes, you know what I'm saying? You just taking the same hustle, the same hustle, you taking the same hustle and applying it to something else. So, but if you want to be successful in it, you got to apply yourself. Right. That's in any hustle. If you want to be successful in it, you got to apply it. You know what I mean? So, first of all, you got to have product. You got to have a, a something that people want. Not just have a bunch of product, because you can have a bunch of stuff and don't nobody want it, there ain't gonna be no point in having it. Okay, so what's the one thing that you would tell somebody to get if they was trying to jump into into this lane and they was dead serious? Like in my lane, like before you had the stuff that you could print yeah. on it, you had the hangers. Before you had the hangers, you had something else, you know what I'm yeah. saying? Like the very first thing that I would encourage somebody to buy if they trying to start a studio or a videography company, I would say, is a laptop. Same thing here. So you, so, so a laptop is a laptop. key to First thing you do, because that's your ideas. You got to bring your ideas to life. You got to be able to see them. You got to then learn your program. Once you be able to learn your program and learn how to use stuff and manipulate what you do, it, it depends, like with, like with me, again, Hustle Gary ain't all I do. Like, I print. You know what I mean? So, in print is one of the, like, half of my business that I actually do. So, when you say where I'm going, where I'm trying to go with it, like, I got it. My, my lane kind of real wide. It expands it, when, after it gets to a certain point. When you learn that yeah. as you grow. You know what I mean? Like, so, like, uh, say, I'm just saying, throw out some stuff like screen print. You know what I mean? Where screen printing is a, is a different from using vinyl. Like when you when you a person who who trying to do a clothing line, or if you're a person that's printing, you gotta understand what you're using, right? What materials work? What materials work with what materials? You know what I'm saying? Yeah. You gotta, what colors go with what colors? What's what's coming out to be able to match up with what you're trying to put out? So you might got a dope ass design and some J's coming out. Like how we were just, you know what I mean? Yeah. So you don't want to cater that dope ass design to what's going to be popular anyway so you can be able to generate sales. You know what I'm saying? Like, in my way. Right. You see what I'm saying? Like, I kind of did, but the reason we, we started that conversation because I kind of, I had that common sense to, like, all right, I'm going to just match my clothing covers with whatever live shoes is about to come out. But even though I got that promotional campaign, marketing idea, man, putting that whole plan together is not something that you can just breeze through unless you are a clothing designer at heart at hustle. You know what I'm saying? Right. Like, and that ain't me. You right. know what I'm saying? Right. Like, I'll shoot the commercial for you. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? I ain't about to be filling out all that like. paperwork. And I'm not doing none of that. Yeah. I don't know what stores you get this stuff in. I know I know. I go to the camera store. Right. I don't know your lane. You know what I'm saying? Like, it really is a lane. So that's why I'm like, yeah. I'm so, it, so even in your lane, a laptop is what somebody needs to get first and foremost. You got to... It, and again, it depends on where, which way you're trying to go with your shit. You know what I mean? And if you're a designer and you're trying to put out a clothing line, you know what I'm saying? But then you also need your vendors. You need to research your vendors. You need to research your materials again. You need to research your machines if you're looking to buy machines. You know what I'm saying? And the shit get expensive. And you do all that from using your damn laptop. Or, yeah, then once you get it, it's about, yeah. I, mean, I, I want to start a drive to get some laptops donated. That's live, and we can just have because we ain't got them. Because nah. I ain't get my first laptop until I was 27. That's yeah. when I first came home from jail. Right. Like, I ain't never had no laptop. You know what I'm saying? But as soon as I got one, I'm starting podcasts, I'm doing videos, I'm doing weddings, I'm doing all types of stuff. 
As soon as I got mine, take off with it. You know what I mean? It's, it's so much you can do, as soon as you get it. As soon as you get it. Get Especially it. if you got the mind to do it, then you start asking questions to people. Damn, bro, how you do this? Then, then you're so interested, you can figure a lot of shit out yourself. If you're interested in doing it, but if you're just talking about it, you know, that motherfucker going to sit right there. You know what I mean? So, so. <laughs> facts. So, what type of legacy you trying to leave behind? We got to wrap this up, bro. I got to go work. All right. At the end of the day, what type of legacy you trying to leave behind? I mean, uh, like, our family ain't really, like, um, we, like, started our own generation. Like, my granddaddy moved up here. So, like, we the first generation of stewards. You know what I mean? So, in Cincinnati? Like, in Cincinnati. Where you from? Oh, your people's from there. We really don't know. So... Yeah, I ain't never did no Ancestry.com or nothing. I mean, yeah, I mean, we got my grandma, my this, that. I was talking about my, like my mom's side of the family. Like, so we really, we can go back so far. You know what I mean? Like, like my granddaddy and his family, his his grandma, we know some aunts and we know some, but I want to leave that legacy. Like, all right, well, this one well started. Like, with this yeah. generation. Like, they, right. they, they branched out, they started doing this, and they started getting into this. Like, we own hella land, we own this and that, but then we look back right now, like, we don't got nothing. So, I don't want my family to go through what we went through, what my family going through now, with they generations, then my sons and my, when they grow up, they gotta have something to be like, all right, well, we got 18 stores. We got a facts, warehouse. Facts. We it got started, this. It started, we got, started with bruh. It started, yeah, yeah. And it started with some t-shirts. My yeah. daddy had 150 t-shirts. And printed the motherfuckers up, I know that, because I was there. You know what I mean? Yeah, yeah, I rock with that. We can't go back. I can't go back to 1700 until I'm done, my family. Can you? You can't go back to where? To 1700s. The 1800s. Oh, uh, nah, nah. I can't. I may, probably on my mama's side, but on my daddy's side, she get hazy up to my grandpa. I don't know nothing about nothing. And of that's that. a lot of black families. Names of us. They destroyed by history. So we got to build history. That's what, that's what I want to do. Mm -hmm. That's the legacy. We got to start our history. Yeah. Look, this was up. That's how this shit got going. And then here come C. That's what they did. Facts. You know, I appreciate you. Appreciate you, man. Make sure y'all shout my guy. All American Hustle Gear, 5258 Section Ave, Cincinnati, Ohio. Facts. Yeah.